Hello everyone and welcome to the Pulse Crescent's Varsity Roundtable, a weekly look at high school sports in the Fox Valley area and the only live online high school sports talk show in the state. I'm Ricardo Arguello, part of the USA Today Network Wisconsin digital live stream team and we are here in an amazing high definition at the mothership, the Pulse Crescent, 306 West Washington Street, downtown Appleton and this week, well we have a first, the first time we ever go into the Green Bay area and we couldn't think of a better set of athletes to introduce to you all out there from the West of Pier football team. Farthest over to my right, Jake Karchinski. Jake, say hi to everyone out there. There you go. And then directly <laughs> to my right, Josh Blount. Did I say that right? Blount. Yep. There we go. The guys are part of that great Phantoms football team that's heading down to the Camp Randall Stadium. They are playing for the Division Three State Championship and they're all here to talk about the big plans that they have to maybe hopefully celebrate a championship down there on the carpet at Camp Randall. But before I start, now these guys are new to the show. Maybe some of you folks are new to the show. The show is interactive, so get this. If you're watching on a desktop, you should see a chat application. Log in, give yourself a name. You look at this, Jake and Josh, they wanna know who's asking these questions, all right? So give a name. Don't be put anonymous or guests or anything like that. Uh, we've got Breckford Stofferson over there behind uh, the Dell computer who'll get those questions over to us right away. And then don't forget about Trent Tesla uh, helping out too as well behind the live stream machine. We're all squared away there. And like I do before every show now, guys, so hold on, I, I gotta hurt your game a little bit. Ladies, I know it's hard, but you can't be asking the guys for numbers or anything like that. This is just <laughs> football. Keep it on that and we'll be just fine. You laugh, but we, first couple of shows we had, we had you know, girls asking for numbers. And I can't have that, guys. Really? So yeah, so, sorry, man, I'm killing your game. Killing your game a little bit. It's just football. All right, so let's get some introductions here right off the bat. Uh, farthest over to my right is Jake Karchinski. Jake, go ahead, look at the camera. Let everyone know the position or positions that you play and how you got into playing football, my man. Uh, I'm Jake Karchinski. I play defensive end and tight end, and I've got to, to play football because my uncles did it, and I've watched them since I was little. Okay, all right. Again, Josh, now go ahead, same thing. Let everyone know the position or positions you play and how you got into playing football. Go ahead. Um, I'm play quarterback um, and I got into uh, football mainly because of my dad and most of my, some of my uncles. Okay, all right, good stuff. Again, if you have any questions, look at these guys, they can't wait to answer any questions that you might have online, so get them over to Brett right away. But I have some questions for the guys. First off, congrats on reaching state for the first time, I think since 2011, maybe it was 2012. What's the atmosphere like among the guys in the locker room? How excited are you guys for it? That's my first question. And then what's the buzz like in school? Seeing you guys backed out at Camp Randall. Let's, we'll start over here with Jake first on this one. Uh, the atmosphere, like not just in our school, but in our community, like it's, it's crazy. Like uh, after film on, on uh, Saturday, we all went to Nicolet. It's like a restaurant or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and they were like, oh, congrats on state. We're all proud of you. We've been watching you all season and stuff like that. So that's really cool. And the buzz in school, I mean, you can't get any better than this week. It's 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 nuts in school. It's fun. Awesome stuff. How about for you, Josh? What have you noticed anything? Uh, this guy is an exciting period for you guys right now, right? <laughs> right. It's incredible. I mean, you got guys that are you know yipping, hollering. You know, every every class you go to, the teachers saying, "Hey, congratulations, good luck." You know, they're getting all the all the you know your schoolwork, everything is figured out. You know, so I mean, it's it's just an incredible feeling to go through school. You can kind of you and your community can kind of puff your chest out to the rest, you know, while we're down there in Mad Madison. So. And, and you, you know, you, talk, you guys both talk about the community, and this is big because, you know, uh, I remember com helping covering some West Pier stuff, you know, back in the times you guys cut those back-to-back -back state championships, and you guys also made it out a third time. Is it nice? I mean, maybe you guys were little kids maybe back then, you know, but what's it like kind of writing your own chapter, your own history now, getting back there, Josh, right? That's got to seem cool, right? You guys, it's been a while since you guys have been back, and you feel like this program's at an elite level. It definitely has. It's it's coach's first um, state run okay. um, as head coach, uh, but we do have you know a few members of our coaching staff um, like you know Kyle Stoop, Wirtz, uh, okay. Dom Conway, uh, Mike Linson. So those guys you know they've been in that game before, um, and just it's it's been an incredible week. They've been you know giving us advice. You know soak it all up. Don't take don't take it for granted. Okay, Jake, what do you got to add to that? Um. You know, since middle school, watching those guys down there at State, that was really cool, and uh, I'm just excited to uh, be part of that in Madison, too. Okay, all right, good stuff. How are we doing over there, guys? You're all right? Okay, uh, yeah, Brett, let me know if you have any questions from online. Again, could, billions could be watching if China's checking in. <laughs> you never know who's doing that, but um, boy, let me tell you, you know, we, we, we follow uh, the Bay Conference, because obviously some of our teams play up there, obviously with Seymour and Benash and stuff like that. 
And then when we see you guys in the playoffs, we go, oh, it could be that Notre Dame West of Pierre matchup. And I know that was a big game for you guys because West, you know, because Notre Dame is obviously just geographically it's close to you guys, but also because you know they're standing there in the way of what you guys want to do, Jake. How big was that win over over uh, Notre Dame? We'll get to the one against Rice Lake, but how big was that? Because seventeen to three, that that sounded to me like that was a tough, tough, grinded out kind of game. Yeah, um, all the way since we lost that one year or last year to them in the playoffs, they knocked us out. Uh, we wanted, they say not to like look forward to games, <laughs> but we, we were looking forward to the Notre Dame game yeah. like all year because we knew they had talent coming back. We had some talent, so we kind of figured we were going to clash into the third round and. Um, it was it was good to get that taste back. Uh, it was it was a tough game, um, both physical and mentally. But uh, we got that win. and It felt great. Yeah. Well, what did it feel like uh, moving on after that game? Because uh, man, no, you know Notre Dame, they're, they're no slouches. I mean, you, they, you guys are both proud, very successful programs. How big was that win? It was incredible. I mean, obviously, you, you said it. You know, Notre Dame's one of the top end programs in the state. Um, and you know, them going in the FRCC, competing against those schools that are a lot bigger than them, um, but uh, you know the win. The win over them was, I think, the key to obviously getting the morale in the in the school and the city. You know, throughout the uh, the rest of the season, really. Rice Lake uh, and Rice Lake is a team that obviously made it to the final last year. Uh, I was there at the state watching that. Um, what was that like for you guys? Because uh, first off, that had to go. On, you guys had to go on the road for that, correct? So. A far away. Where did you guys play that one, by the way? Was that we, DC Everest. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I've been I've been in DC Everest, Weston. I know where that is. Uh, so yeah, talk about that a little bit. And uh, how how was that uh, going out there? And you guys really took control. And I didn't see any of the highlights or anything. So you have to fill me in, Josh. But man, going out there and, and beating beating a team that made it to the final last week that I give you guys some or last year I should say that I give you guys some confidence. It was yeah. I mean all week we were pre we were prepared for them. You know, in film during our lunches and everything like that. Uh, we knew they were going to be a good team, um, and that's what they were. I, I don't think the, sh the score shows that uh, because they definitely gave us a they gave us a battle. We had to dig in. We had to okay. really grind it out in that game. Yeah. What do you remember from that game, Jake? Um, I just rem remember coming into the week. Uh, they actually knocked out Coach Batten's first year of head coaching in 2014. Okay. Okay. They knocked us out in the fourth round. So we kind of had that little uh, revenge tour, get revenge on Notre Dame, get revenge on Rice Lake and you guys don't forget a whole lot, do you guys? <laughs> right? no, no. I those wins, those we had, we had the chip on our shoulder. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> so uh, we were we were glad to get that win for Coach and for us, obviously. Yeah, well, it was a it was an incredible incredible win, and congratulations on that. Brett, do we have anything from on like? Listen, guys, playing in the Bay. Like I told you, we, we share some teams in the Post Crest and the Green Bay Press Gazette. We kind of share a couple teams, so we're familiar with Seymour and and obviously Menasha, uh, New London's in there as well. Uh, but for you guys. Talk about that a little bit in playing uh, in, in, a, in a big conference. That usually, I mean, when Asha won the title a couple of years ago, you're talking about a lot, of, uh, a lot of prestige, a lot of successful programs. Jake, give me your thoughts there on the Bay Conference and, and playing some of your, uh, your conference foes. Uh, Menasha, they're obviously good every year. They're big, they're mm -hmm. fast, they're physical. Seymour, that's, that's our big rival game. Okay, Seymour yeah. versus West Superior. Can't get any better than that. Um, New London was really good this year. They had a couple studs returning, like their running back, he was really good. So okay. just all around, it was good competition for us, and it got us ready for the playoffs. Yeah, talk about that a little bit. You guys were, were champions of the Bay, you know, so uh, how much better was that for you guys? Especially because, you know, once Menasha came in, you knew that was a good program coming in and that you guys would have to battle them seemingly every year, right? Absolutely, yeah. They, they, give, us, they give us a run. Um, being in being in a conference that you know you you've played these teams for a while right. is is it gets I don't want to say they're all rivalries but there's definitely a lot of competition um, because you know year in year out you're seeing the teams change how the players change people come people go okay um, and obviously with with teams like this that we've played for a few years I mean. Yeah. It's it's definitely an intense matchup. Yeah, but that wasn't too long ago when they entered the Bay. Did, did you first off? You were a young kid back then, but did you know the significance of them coming into the Bay that was going to kind of lift everyone's like play because they're a pretty good team coming from the from the big Division One conference. Yeah, um, I remember when the conference changed and yeah. Nashville moved in, and um, I had some friends in high school actually. So um, yeah, they were talking about it, saying like, "Oh, the Nashes, they're really good. They're going to give us some competition this year." So like, it just. Uh, like made the Bay Conference that much stronger. No disrespect to Hortonville, because I know Hortonville <laughs> moved away, and not, not to say that at all, but yeah, big move when that happened. Brett, did you have anything from online? Now listen, uh, let's talk defense, Jake, okay? 
first off, what are some of the things in the ball that you, uh, on that side of the ball that you guys are doing well? Because it's hard not to notice. I mean, during the regular season, you guys have played extremely well. Um, what are some of the things that you guys are doing well at every, every level, defensive line, linebacker, defensive, secondary? You guys have a lot of talent, don't you? Um, we're, what we're doing well is um, we're aligning right correctly and we're defeating blocks and stuff like that. Um, what we really preached this year was to be like really strong bond. Like okay. our defense had wanted to be really strongly bonded together. Like we're best friends off the field. We wanted to like acquire that onto the field. So that probably really helped us uh, this year with, with all the success we've had. Okay, interesting. Okay, now let's switch to the offensive side of the ball. Now, Josh, okay, you came in obviously last year as so a freshman. Now you're a sophomore uh, quarterback. Can you tell me the offense? Um, did, was it always playing at a high level? Did it progress? Did it mature? Uh, obviously, you, you, you feel that every game you're getting better. So give me some thoughts there on the offense and how it improved throughout, throughout the season. Um, I go back to last season. Last season, we were kind of a single cell, you know, offense, obviously. This year we're a lot more diverse, okay. and that's why you, I, I think we're seeing more points. You know, last year, week six, we put up 13 points on Seymour. Okay. Um, and I think that was because we were, you know, one way, or a, <clears throat> excuse me, a one way, or one cell team, you like know. One or, dimensional, maybe right. a little bit team. Okay. Offense, yeah. Um, and this year you see, you know, a lot of different guys. Uh, you see, we had Vanderlot earlier in the season, because of Bucky, uh, Momarts, Cavill, Frisk, all those guys running the ball. Um, and we have a lot more weapons this year, I think, too. Yeah, well, is it Momarts? Is that, am I saying that correctly? Well, yeah. We had troubles with that name last yeah. year, I remember. Uh, <laughs> heck, of, heck of a running back, a heck of a running back. Uh, it had some big games for you guys. Brett, do you have something? We have two questions from online. Again, billions could be watching Russia. You never know, People's Republic of Congo. What do you got, Brett? Who's All right, uh, first thing is Phantom uh, wants to know for the guys, what, it is, what is it about football in the Fox Valley? You, Kimberly Springs, yeah. you guys are state powers every year. What, yeah, that is up, up through the Green Bay, all the way down to Fond du Lac. Uh, this, uh, and, and believe me, I have to, I have to, when I go to these uh, all, all state like player, all state rankings and all that kind of stuff, I have to argue with people all the time. <laughs> now, I gotta say, no, we got, we got great teams up in the Valley. You guys don't know, it's not always just about, you know, Milwaukee area and stuff like that. So yeah, why, why is that? The, why, why do you guys do it so much better, in my opinion, than any other place in the state, Josh? Um, you know, we do have a lot of talented players up in, you know, Northeast Wisconsin. And um, I think a lot of it has to do with just the environment up here, you know, with the Packers and the rat, the whole, okay. you know, all the greater Green Bay area, really. Okay, all right, interesting. Jake? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Uh, Northeast Wisconsin, Green Bay Packers, all that stuff. I mean, it, we're just big fans, and we want to be like our idols. So. Okay, I know that's a great answer. Okay, good. So if you have a second question, a <laughs> couple things. But uh, check your switch on, on your mic, Ricardo, oh. real quick uh, on the top. Uh, there, it should be in the middle, not the top it. or the bottom. In the you middle. Me on. All right, you go. So we can hear you. Gotcha. Better. Okay. Secondly, uh, this is from. There we go. Big we Hawkeye. We're okay. catching you, but uh, that's okay. No big deal. Big Hawkeye fan might be for you, Jake. Wants to know, but I think it's for both. <laughs> Do you guys have any nicknames that teammates call you? You got some weird nicknames? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they call me Drago from Rocky Four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. I must break you. All right. <laughs> they call me uh, Clifford, the big red Oh, Rick yep. yeah. oh, man. These are some great nicknames. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's my two. I well, know. Those two are pretty good. You got some, nah, Josh? No, nah, I don't really have any. Just <laughs> last names and... Okay. Well, you got a couple got years. Nothing. You got a couple years to develop some of those, but those are some great ones there uh, for Karchinski. Do you have anything else? Yeah. Again, if you have any questions for Jake or Josh, please log into that live chat now that you can hear me. Uh, and, and look at these guys. I can't wait to answer these questions that you guys are going to be throwing at them. Hey, let's talk about Coach Batten. Okay, so he's at 2014. He he took over. Obviously, a successful program, a great program, and he's been wanting to put you know his mark on that. What can you tell me though? <clears throat> and remember, we're a PG show. Uh, I want you to tell me something that people might not know about Coach Batten. First off, I like Coach Batten. I've talked to him before, talked to him a little bit on the emails and everything. And I, and I like what I like about him is he doesn't hold anything back. So, what can you tell me about Coach that people might not know, Josh? He definitely doesn't hold anything back. Um, but I think a lot of people perceive him to be kind of. I know I did first when I met him. You know, it's kind of the first thought I had. You know, drill sergeant. <laughs> there you, you go. Know, All right. He's, uh, he's a hard guy, <laughs> but um, you know, once you get to know him, he's he's really loving, caring. He's I don't want to say soft on the inside, but um, is he really very, a teddy bear? He's he's. All right, you don't want to go that far. All right, okay. Teddy, <laughs> teddy bear-ish. Okay, yeah. gotcha. All right. Jake, how about you? I was going to say the same thing. He's got that hard look on the outside, 
military look guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then on the inside is this little teddy bear. Okay. All right. Interesting <laughs> stuff. I'll be seeing Coach uh, Coach uh, Batten there as you guys uh, go for that D3 championship against Catholic Memorial uh, on Friday. I think that's a 10 a.m. start. Let's, let me talk about that real quick, 10 a.m. start. How do, you, how do you like having the game so early there, Karczynski? Oh, it's obviously going to be a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to wake up uh, early just to get in the mode of the game. We have a, a walkthrough okay. right before it, and then we're going to hit the field at about 9. So. Wow, yeah. Josh, for you? <clears throat> it's definitely going to be different. I mean, he's going to get used to it next year. But, right. um, you know, it, playing at 7 under the lights and everything, it's going to be, you know, a whole different, whole different feel, different, you know, sun, everything. Got to take that into account. Okay, interesting stuff. Right, you didn't have anything else from online. All right. Uh, yeah, guys, let me do a couple of promos here. I got to pay the bills here. First off, you guys are Packer fans, right? You guys are both. I can't yeah. stand them. I'm actually a Bears fan. But I co-host a Packer show <laughs> with that guy over there, Brett Christofferson. Don't forget Jim Rosendick in York there as well. Trent, you guys are helping out with the production of the show. Our Packer co-host is Josh Jones, safety Josh Jones. Great guy. Can't say anything bad about him. He's a good guy. I like the Packer players, actually, as a Bears fan. They're good guys. Uh, but, yeah, it's a free show every uh, Monday at 6.30 p.m. It's down here downtown at the uh, – used to be the Paper Valley, but now it's the Red Lion. I Correct me if I'm wrong. Is it Paper Lion? Red Lion. Hotel. We just say the Paper Valley Hotel. Paper Valley Hotel. Okay, but anyway, inside <laughs> is the Clubhouse Sports Grill, the Packer Show. Who's your Who's your favorite Packer? Uh, my favorite Packer is Aaron Rodgers. He's been on the show. How about for you, Josh? Uh, yeah. It's okay. Well, same. we all, all your favorite well, Packers have been on the show. They love coming to the show. They can't get enough of the show, and uh, it's a great time. So come on down. It's free. Did I tell you that it's free. Monday, six thirty p.m. So come on, check us out every Monday uh, at the Clubhouse Sports Bar and Grill. Okay, here we go. Twitter now. This is where I want to get, let you guys maybe gain some followers here. Okay, so Jake, go ahead, send out your, give out your uh, Twitter account number. Uh, Jake Karshinsky one two three. Okay, and for you, Josh. Mine's Josh Blount twenty one. Okay, I'm at PC Ricardo. Brett's at PC Brettsy. Don't forget about Metal Rosie, but he's not here. Trent, what's yours, real quick? T Tets five. T Tets five. That's Trent Tetzloff, by the way. He's an Appleton North grad, by the way. So uh, yeah, so please follow us all. Uh, and, and Twitter is my favorite thing, man. When I'm down there and I'm watching you guys compete and watch you guys play, I can quickly update everyone. If you can't make it to the game, you can follow me, and I'm going to update as much as I can from that big game that they're going to be at. Oh, Karchinski just picked up a fumble, ran it in 90 yards for a touchdown. <laughs> oh, well, just, he just ran 99 yards from the one-yard line for a touchdown. That's how easily I can update. So please follow me at PC Ricardo. All right, uh, a couple things. Shout-outs, guys. We do shout-outs here. Now, you, you guys are familiar with shout outs, right? So you're going to send some love out to people who got you where you are today. We're going to direct you to a camera and then let it go. But I do have one thing I have to remind you. Do not forget anybody. Because if you forget somebody, <laughs> you're going to get in the doghouse. I've had athletes say, you know, I forgot to mention somebody. And now, now, now they can't get, they keep getting bothered. All right. So I want to make sure. So think about who you can send some love to, all right? Now, I got to do a promo quick, though, Brett. We always do this, right? Community First Credit Union promo. Thanks to our presenting sponsor, Community First Credit Union. When you bring your deposits to Community First, your money becomes a source of great good for you and your community. Find Community First Credit Union online at communityfirstcu.org. And Brett, can you get the camera on, Brett? Look at the beautiful, beautiful sweatshirt he has there. USA Today Network, Wisconsin. There you go. Model there we go. Wrong Which way am I doing? Wrong way, there that way. Go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's from our friends camera. at Silly Toast who got us those great gear. That's Nike gear, baby. That's the best we got. So there you go. So uh, the big shout out to uh, Silly Toast as well. Guys, we're going to the second half of the show. Now, I heard you guys talking about this question. Best player that you've gone against. And I heard there is some discussion going back and forth now. Jake, I'm going to I'm I'm go with Josh on this one first. We'll go to you. Best player that you've gone against. And you can't say teammates. I'm talking about <laughs> of opposition, okay? You can't say Jake. It's got to be someone uh, from the opposing team. Um, when I think of, you know, best player, obviously defensive. Um, a few names spot in my head. One, Josh Kerbin from Notre okay. Dame. Okay, all right. There you uh, go. He's an incredible athlete. Um, Daniel Navas from uh, Menasha. Okay. He's a, he's a great linebacker. Okay. Um, and I'd have to say probably those are those got to be those two if those two are the cream of the crop then that's the cream yeah, of the crop all right Jake for you as a if you want I think you want to go as a defender so you can say an offensive player so go ahead or offensive tackle or whatever. um my my guys are Muhammad uh, Alazi. He was oh, my sure. sophomore year. He's, yes, he played tackle. He's at Western Michigan now. Yep. And uh, this year Nathan Koisman. Oh, from, okay. From uh, Luxembourg, Castro. Right. 
He, he's a big guy. Yeah, that's a name that we discussed many times. Brett, uh, Luxembourg, Casco we've Kid. Seen yeah. a game or two of his, yeah, we yeah. have. We've uh, we've done some of their games as well. Interesting stuff. Great discussion. We have a couple of questions, Brett. What do you have from online? I do. This one's from Superstar Kemp and wants to know: Is there is there anyone on your team that can guard Jake when he runes pass routes? <laughs> 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 hey, that's uh, Garrett Kempton. He's <laughs> yeah, actually yeah. our cornerback. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Garrett, no one can guard me, man. <laughs> All right, there you go. Get him out on those routes, baby. You know, is that true, Josh? Is that a true story? That's uh, Yeah, that's that's true when he's running. When he's running. Okay, when he's <laughs> running, I got you. Okay. All right, good stuff. Brett, you have something <laughs> yeah, else? Yeah, Phantom online? Fan wants to know, who inspires you guys? Who do you guys look up to? There good you question. go. No, there, there's some, that, that's a good one there. We'll start over there with, with Jake again. So uh, who do you look up, look up to, my friend? Uh, I look up to my family, obviously, and I for like a athlete, I look up to JJ Watt. Even though he's okay, a sure. and badger, no, that's cool. Uh, he's just a beast all around. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about the whole Iowa thing a little bit there, yeah. Jake. Uh, but let's go to Josh on that. Someone you look up to? Um, you know, I, didn't, I, I think friends and family are a lot of it. Um, but I do think the coaching staff. You know, obviously, like I said, the guys before that went down to Madison. You know, they they're really. They're really getting us going in practice this week. The yeah. runs, you know, the heart's, heart's pumping a little bit. No, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Brett, did you have something else? Uh, okay, guys. Uh, well, rituals and superstitions. This is always kind of a fun one, and I've had some really wacky stories here about how, people, how, how these athletes get ready for games. You can give me a team one if you want, but I'm really interested in more of the individual ones, Jake and Josh. So we'll start here with Josh. Anything you do, you've got to put your socks on a certain way or got to listen to some, uh, you know, Bieber or something. I don't know. How, how, do, you get, how do you prepare, man? <laughs> I do listen to music. I usually go and stretch out. Um, I usually eat about three hours before the game. Okay. But, um, what are you eating, though? Typical thing every, every week? Uh, cold cut combo from Subway. There you go. See, a Subway I, guy. I tell you, urban cheese bread. Yeah, you see, yeah, see now that. That's on, nor, normally, we have Jimmy John's yeah. people. Yeah, don't be shaking your head, Trench. That Subway's <laughs> all right. Subway's all right. Interesting. That's good stuff. Okay, for you, Jake? Uh, I go to Jimmy John's with my man, Kerry <laughs> Kadanko. Okay, what, which one are you getting, though? Because uh, Brett, Brett's very familiar with Jimmy John's. Number four for me. Number four? Uh, I, think it's, I think it's a number 12. Yeah, I'm not familiar I'm not with, familiar that. with that one. Uh, <laughs> it, it's, and, um, as long as it's not the vegetarian one. You're not getting the vegetarian one. Right before I leave to go to the locker room, I, I brush my teeth. Okay, <laughs> sure. It's always a weird one. And then uh, I go stretch in the turf room. Okay. I think a lot of us, uh, there's, there's a good group, probably about 10, 15 guys that go and sit in our trainer's room, sucking out pops, oh, yeah, Tootsie yeah. Pops, and we just Oh, wow, there you go. There okay. All right, but you brush your teeth though, huh? You got when you trash talk, gotta be nice, minty, fresh oh, yeah. talking to people. <laughs> sure. Okay, I was just wondering about that. It's very <laughs> respectful. It's very nice. Uh, Brett, do you have anything from online? Okay, um, here we go. Greatest sports memory. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be football. If you play another sport, or if you did as a youth, you maybe you played baseball or soccer or something like that. Anything kind of come to your mind in terms of a greatest sports memory, Jake? Uh, greatest sports memory probably was. My first varsity football game. Okay. Um, I remember being so nervous, almost throwing up before the game. Um, but we ended up pulling off the win versus Seymour, and I had like three and a half sacks. So wow, that, there you go. Yeah, that really pushed it to the limit. That was my greatest sport. Not a bad debut. Okay, <laughs> and how about for you, Josh? Um, mine, my first varsity game was up there. It was, it was an incredible experience. But, uh, you know, as far as, you know, the most memorable, I think last week was up there too, playing okay. in, you know, a few – and more than a dusting of snow, I'd say. But um, okay. you know, playing in that and state semifinal, defending champs, you know, hold the whole deal. That was that was that was cool. Outstanding stuff, Brett. Let me. Oh, we do have a question from online. What do you have? Uh, from Alex, uh, how are your linebackers doing? And what about your man Spitz? <laughs> your man Spitz, and uh, how your linebackers are doing? You want to tackle that uh, one? Yeah, yeah, I can. That's Alex Spitzer. Okay. <laughs> um, they're they're doing great. They're uh, <laughs> okay. They're, they're funny guys. They're Alex and Evan Frist are both our middle yeah. linebackers. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, they're they're just characters. They're like our coach compares them to cartoon characters. Okay, yeah. uh, but they're getting us ready to go. They're getting us amped up. Uh, they're good guys. All right, good stuff. Right? Did you have something else from online? Here we go. Now, Jake, we gotta talk a little about this because uh, I know maybe Brett, Brett Brett's wondering too. Iowa. Mm. Why? Why? What was the recruiting process like? Walk us through it, why why that was such a good decision for you. Why why that made sense for you? Oh, uh, the recruiting process it, it was a little bit long. It okay. started getting long. Um, but right when the Hawkeyes offered, I'd been down there for the Ohio State game when they okay. upset them, and um, just their family atmosphere, just the small t town, big college feel. I like that. Okay. Um, and I didn't really want to chase the Wisconsin offer. I just I felt like Iowa was right, so I just pulled. Okay, the interesting. All right, uh, that's 
That's interesting. Okay, and but and also when you went down to Iowa, it, can, can you ex explain what that was like for actually just being there and seeing the campus? Did that also woo you? I guess looking at the campus. And yeah, their their campus is really cool. Uh, there's like a river running through yeah. it, so yeah, it was just it's cool. It, it, it fit me good. Yeah, outstanding. Well, we're one, unfortunately we're a little little hurt that you didn't choose Wisconsin, but it sounds to me like you knew <laughs> kind of right away that that was your spot, huh? Yeah, uh, Wisconsin came down to school right after my Hawkeye yeah. uh, offer. And they said they want to see me at camp, and they'll go from there. But ah, I see. I, I, I couldn't wait any longer. I no. just knew Iowa was right. Well, let me let me say something, right, Brett? Uh, Wisconsin's been known to make mistakes. Uh, I know one one area kid around here, AJ Klein's now in the NFL, but Kimberly, he went to Iowa State because uh, he actually didn't get an offer from Wisconsin, which is shocking because now he's an NFL line starting linebacker for the Saints. But I digress. So uh, you know, Wisconsin makes mistakes. But congratulations to you, my friend, and best of luck there. Now for Josh. Now you're a sophomore now, so you got a couple of years here. Is 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 possibly coll collegiate athletics something you you look look uh, as possibly something that you can do? Um, I hope to do. I mean, it's it's not ultimately up okay. to me, obviously. But um, another thing that uh, I'm you know more involved in, interested in is also baseball. Okay, there um, you go. Through baseball, I've I've been trying to get in more into the recruiting process and a um, little bit starting for football. It's a little later for football than it is for okay. baseball now, but. I've been trying to get myself into it a little more and more. Oh, man, you, you got to tell me about last year in the sectional final, man. Losing to Kimberly, was it? Uh, I think. Is that what happened? Yeah, I was at the game. Sorry, man. I mean, it, how, how tough was that for you guys to get so close there? I, I, know, I remember talking to your coach, and there's, there was just a feeling like, man, that was, that was right there, so close for you guys. Right, yeah. I think we definitely beat ourselves up in that game. Uh, we, we, you know, we obviously had the talented, yeah. the talented skill, you know, the, the team you know, camaraderie to – to play through, I think we, it, the game could have gone either right. way, um, and I don't think the score reflects that. But having it be the, I think fourth or fifth year in a row, that's it's definitely that's tough. tough. Yeah. All right. Outstanding stuff. You have something from online, Brett? What do you have? I do. Uh, Evan Frisk. I hope I'm saying that right. F R I S Q U E wants to know, Jake, what's it like playing a position that some of the West Appear greats have played, like Brad Ambrosius? Am I saying that right? And James yep. Dannon. Is there any pressure that comes with that? There you go, man. Living up to kind of like uh, the. Um, bar set there. Yeah. Uh, Brad Ambrosius, uh, he comes in and like helps out in the okay. summer with me a lot. Uh, so there's a little bit of pressure there. He's was great at NDSU. Yeah. Um, but ultimately, there's there's some pressure playing defensive end at West Superior. Like you know, you got to be the yeah the, the tough guy. Okay. All right. Good question <laughs> from Alan. Do you have something else, Brad? I have one. Actually, I have one for Josh. You mentioned baseball. Do you uh, get a chance to work with Jason Birkin, a former West Appear? Great, who played in the big leagues ah, for a bit. You do, huh? I do. What's yeah. What's that ex experience like? He's incredible. I mean, he's helped me a lot with not not only just the recruiting process, but um, you know, understanding how the whole the whole college athletics and how mm -hmm. how, how everything you know, even from you know from social media in the classroom, cutting corners, all that stuff works. So. All right, good stuff. Great. Thank you for that question, Brett. All right, uh, before we get to, well, actually, we're going to do our uh, shout outs right now. You didn't have anything else, Brett, did you? No, we're good. Do they know about shout outs? Yeah, I just, I, I just told them about them earlier in the, in the show, so okay. they should be good to go. Okay. You, you feel you got a good grasp of this? Because I always start following over to my right, Jake. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's I'm you good. I'm starting with. So, okay. <laughs> uh, Trent, should we have them look at that camera or the center camera? What do you think? You, 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 you let me know. Center camera? What do you think? Uh, let's, go, let's go with that camera right here. Yep. Okay, you can. Actually, you know, you don't even have to zoom in, Trent. Just, just let just it go. Just leave it like yeah. that. Jake, or, yeah, go ahead and look at that camera to his right. All right, go ahead and now remember, don't forget anyone, man. I don't, want you, I don't want you getting in anyone's doghouse, but send some love out to the people who got you where you are today. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to shout out my man, John Ettinger, uh, Gary Kempen, uh, Coach Batten, and my mom and dad. Uh, they're the real ones. They, they get me ready to go every single day. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Okay, for you, go ahead, my friend. Go ahead, Josh. Um, my friends and family, love you, Mom, love you, Dad, love you both sisters. Um, I'd like to thank DJ for the, the, clean, the clean cuts. Um, and uh, just the big, the big the tu the, as Stuke would say, as Stuke would say, the tubbies up front that okay. saved my butt every, every single day, you know, day in and day out. Thank you, boys. The tubbies. I got to remember that one now for, uh, for Friday. <laughs> no, good stuff. Uh, give me in the middle camera, by the way. Hey, my, my shout goes out to, to Coach Batten for helping me get you guys on the show. Again, we're, we're doing something new. You know, hopefully this will be a yearly thing we can have. Maybe some West of Pure love, you know, going up to you guys and have you guys come down to the show. You know, every year, you know, have them make a, an annual thing. So appreciate you, Coach, uh, giving me some of your players' time. I know you guys are busy because, yeah, you got a big championship coming coming up on Friday, and that's what I want to talk about. I'm going to ask you straight out three big keys that you guys need to do 
um, against Catholic Memorial. So let's start over here. Let's start with Jake on this one and end it with Josh. So what do you think, man? Uh, three keys. We got to block better than they do. We got to tackle better than they do. <laughs> and we got... Uh, Josh, like, you're taking my ones. <laughs> you're taking my things. Go ahead. And uh, we got to just run our plays right. Okay. Yeah, that's basically my three That keys. sounds pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, Josh, please, if you could. Um, I think we got to play smart more than anything. Uh, they, we've seen more complex defenses than them, okay. um, so we got to play smart. We got to play fast, and we got to you know leave everything out there. No regrets. Okay. All right. Good stuff. I appreciate you guys coming down. Okay, we got a couple last questions. They're here. Uh, what's, what's what's the rush? Right. Okay. Let's go not, ahead. Got here, right? But uh, Phantom wants to know, Jake, are you playing basketball this year? Uh, yeah, I'm playing basketball. All right. Everyone there we go. Is, is gonna be on the <laughs> all right. He said it, year. so it must be done. And then Phantom wants to know, with talk of realignment, although it won't affect you, would you like to see West appear and DePier in the same conference? You can get that city rivalry going. Yeah, see, you, you, you'll, uh, yeah, you guys will have to brief me on that and how big that rivalry is. I, I take it, is that one of those ones that you guys have been wanting, Josh? I don't know. Um, wanting or not, I mean, I think, you know, just, just the sound of it is big. Okay. Uh, there would definitely be a big turnout for that game. Uh, as far as, you know, they've, they've got some incredible athletes, talented players. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know we do also. So I think you know in the future if that does happen, that would be that'd be just an incredible feeling. Okay, Jake, anything to add to that? Oh uh, yeah, that'd be cool playing Depeer. I know a lot of people from Depeer from okay, Pop right. Warner days. Sure. Um, also, I think we're actually playing them in basketball this year as a okay. non-conference game. And so it's going to be on a Saturday, so that would be pretty cool. All right, good <laughs> stuff. A great question from online, and thank you all for tuning in. I want to, again thank Jake Karchinski and Josh. Blount, did I say that right? Yep. Yeah, there we go for coming <laughs> in and being our guinea pigs. The first time we've ever had West appear uh, on the big show. And all you best of luck, guys, uh, on on that Friday. Hopefully, you guys can pull pull down that gold trophy again and add to the trophy case you guys got over there at West appear. And I'm Ricardo Argrell. Don't forget about breakfast offers. And you have something to well, add? Well, don't forget we're not here next week. Oh, we are not here next week. Right. I was going to do that at the end, we're but we celebrate Thanksgiving. Now. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're celebrating Thanksgiving. You guys, you guys can eat a whole bunch. Oh yeah, you know it's Thursday. Okay, good oh, to see. Yeah. And you'll be rooting my Bears on at the eleven o'clock game. Uh, can't They're playing the Lions. Can't see it. They're playing the Lions. All right, but anyway, yeah. So uh, <laughs> happy Thanksgiving, everyone. We'll return a week, not this next Wednesday, but a week, uh, two two Wednesdays from now. So please check us out again for another episode of the Varsity Roundtable. Again, I'm Ricardo Arguello, and he's Brett Christopher. And don't about Trent Chetslap also doing the job over there behind the live stream machine. Okay, until two weeks from now, everyone have a great holiday. We'll see you back here again for another episode of the Varsity Roundtable. It's time to get extra mileage on your money. With a car loan from Community First, we'll find a way to help you get better rates and terms on your new or used car loan and better rates and terms on all your personal loans. We save substantial amount of money on our car loans. Boat loans, RV loans. We'll even do the car shopping for you with our free auto buying service. We use Community First for everything. They saved me at the end. This is the place. It's time to get extra mileage on your money with a car loan from Community First.